The purpose of this video is going to be to explain how, if you go to reordering rules, how the lead time here, the days to purchase versus days to get the products, what the different implications are and when it would make sense from a business case to use a, a specific option. So let's look at the example we have. And I'm going to take a step back and look at our product. On this product, I have it configured so that we purchase it from Ven X, and we have a two-day lead time on this product. Now, when I open up my reordering rules for this product, I have it also set here, 10 days to purchase. We'll do this as the first example. 10 days to purchase this product. So what Odoo is going to do, and then I'll demo it, is whenever this demand has been recognized in Odoo, meaning whenever the reordering rule is triggered, it's going to push the order date of the purchase order out the days specified here, in this example, 10. And then it's going to, so essentially what the system is doing is it's, it, once the reordering rule is triggered, the purchase order is created, the date the order should be executed is pushed out 10 days, and then on top of that, Odoo takes into consideration the lead time. So the actual, and if the lead time on this product is two days, we shouldn't expect to receive this product until 12 days from now. And 12 days from today is going to be the sixth. So let's test it. 10 days to purchase. I already have a, if I go to inventory here, I already have demand set up. And if I look at purchasing, I have no purchase orders because I just keep deleting them. So what I'm going to do is once I run the scheduler, it's going to check that demand, trigger the rule, and it's going to generate our purchase order. And if we open up our purchase order, you'll see the order date or the date this order should be executed internally by the procurement team is pushed out 10 days from today, which 10 days from today is the 4th. And you'll see the two-day lead time is triggered. So you'll also see the expected scheduled date of delivery or receipt is two days ahead of when the order should be executed. So it's the 6th. Make sense? If you have any questions, you just write me an email below uh, in the description of the video. Now, let's, uh, let's delete this and rewire our reordering rule to say 10 days to get the products. 10 days to get the products is going to take these 10 days, it's going to subtract from this value the lead time, and then it's going to tell you uh, that value will be the number of days added to uh, today in which the order should be executed. So if today is the 25th of January, and I have a lead time of 10 days to get the products, that means I need the products to be here 10 days from now, which means that the products need to be here on February 4th or 10 days from now. In order for those products to get here on the 4th, if I know the product has a two-day lead time, it means I must order the products on the 2nd. So what's going to happen is Odoo, when I run this reordering rule, and I look at my purchase, you'll see a new reordering rule has been configured, or excuse me, uh, created. Order date is the second. The second plus the two-day lead time means my products will be here on the fourth. So 10 days to get the products. And I will get the products with this configuration 10 days from now, which means that in order to do that, products need to be ordered on the second to arrive in stock on the fourth of February. So that's how those two options work. Um, as far as you know, the different applications those could have for a certain business, uh, it's very far reaching. If you need some insight or you uh, have deeper questions about this functionality, you can ping me at any time uh, via my email address below. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much. And have a great day.